reimagine education. Imagine the slide that is ahead of you and look at it. You see the teacher on the right, students seated but smiling, and at the back of their minds are gadgets that they would wish were in this particular classroom session and the teacher is also smiling because he's thinking the teachers are actually <laughs> the students are rather are actually understanding very well but yet at the back of their mind there are things that they either left at home or they imagine they should be having this is what education system needs to respond to in terms of making education relevant to children in terms of involving children in learning but also in terms of building on their curiosity um, apart from that, in terms of realizing the omnipresence or ubiquity of technology all around us and the potential it has to offer children in terms of uh, facilitating their learning, making it interesting, but also making it uh, fun at the same time. Let me try to move. And I don't know if maybe you could see some things here, not sure, but then. <laughs> This is an office in UNICEF South Africa. It's quite decorated with toys, with uh, uh, gadgets and with many things. This is what we envision the classroom to be in terms of reimagination education and putting at the hands of children the, 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 the technology that will actually help their learning. So, but why do we have to do that in terms of reimagining learning? We know that there's a learning crisis despite decades of investment of billions or whatever currency. We know that a skills gap still remain between the three R's and what uh, graduates of education systems really ought to be having problem solving, creativity, communication, collaboration, and critical thinking skills. But also we know that the era we are living in, in is actually fully almost dominated by technology, if not controlled by technology. And therefore, what's the potential of digital learning to really improve the outcomes for children? Question remains, can we connect all children to digital solutions? Is it doable? I believe it is, if we do the right things at the right times, in the right ways. Because this is the sharing of experience by South Africa, uh, where have we come from? We've come from implementing three things which have given us some good learning, which I'll go on to in a, a minute or so. One is a virtual school program that was very popular for parents, for educators, and for children as well. We had had over one million hits on that particular uh, intervention within just a couple of months. We have an ECD Mobi or mobile app, which is a, a virtual resource room for parents, caregivers, and foundation faced teachers. We are learning from it. But we've also had a massive capacity building program for teachers where we've trained over 200,000 ECD teachers, caregivers, practitioners, and foundation face teachers. So this has been our journey and uh, we are convinced that there is sufficient room for, uh, for reimagining re education, rather, sorry, using technology and ICT. Now, but what does it mean for us in South Africa? It means a couple of things that we need to be focusing on as we think of reimagining and implementing reimagination. One is accelerating delivery of learning for all children. The second is that its implementation has to be at scale, no small pilots, which will end and then nothing comes out of them. Is that strategic partnerships are key, including with the private sector. But reimagination education also means equity, innovation, inclusivity. It means government leadership. It means shifting minds of those who may still believe in conventional means of delivering education but also it means addressing fears that technology will either replace teachers or lower the quality of learning. It will actually accelerate both. It is a partner and a complement and not a competitor. What lessons have we learned? We've learned a couple of lessons. One is that there is an appetite for tech. So we need to really feed that appetite. And within that appetite, we realize that bring your own device is actually possible. And uh, we've learned this from Kufunda that reduces the cost of implementing tech in education. We realize that scale is also possible. So we should uh, not have a pilot mindset, but we should have scale because it's, it's really possible, especially with government leadership. What you see on the screen are some of the providers of um, ICT innovation based technology education in, the, in South Africa. This is not even 10%. I've actually introduced just a few samples. There are so many. And that is what we mean by saying there's a constellation of providers around us, which are both local and global. And working with both, we are able to make a difference for children. But the challenge remains how do you make a difference for children in a very unequal society? 
what you see there on the left is uh, uh, the juxtaposition of poverty and uh, affluence in uh, Johannesburg. On the right is again the same comparison of two neighborhoods, one rich with a golf course, the other one is basically a shanty town. But so the challenge is how do you reimagine education in a society as deeply divided and unequal as South Africa? And indeed, that is one of the main challenges which makes innovation and ICT in education uh, more, all the more necessary. And so finally, for us, uh, what we are doing is uh, one, we are building on homegrown solutions from the constellation of providers I've just shared. And we know that government leadership is uh, important for any innovation or ICT-based intervention to be sustainable in the long run. And we are working on what we have identified as the key enablers. One is state budget for ICT, which means provision of iPads or tablets or even phones in schools, uh, you know, bandwidth provision, you know, and all that. Then there is a framework that is being worked on and we've really seen that this framework is actually positioning the provision of ICT in education very well. We call it a how-to guide in implementing ICT in education. But we also need to look at and review tax policies, partnerships, education plans to ensure that all these are responsive and actually facilitate the reimagination of education in any particular setup. Ladies and gentlemen, that in a nutshell is the South African experience with the uh, the ICT and innovation based reimagination on the over education in the country. Thank you very much.